Thank you for letting us share with you the history of Angelman syndrome. Dr. Harry Angelman was an English physician who identified what is now known as Angelman syndrome. Dr. Angelman was born in Birkhead, England. He was an enthusiast for the language and country of Italy. He first observed three children who were unrelated but showed similar symptoms of severe intellectual delay, stiff, jerky gait, lack of speech, seizures, motor disorders, and happy demeanor. Then, while vacationing in Italy, he observed an oil painting called A Boy with a Puppet by Renaissance artist Giovanni Francesco Carotto at the Castelvecchio Museum in Verona. Reminded of the children, Dr. Angelman published a paper in 1965 that described what he called puppet children. At this time, his paper was not immediately recognized as important. It wasn't until 1982 when Charles A. Williams and Jamie L. Frias of the Department of Pediatrics, Division of Genetics, University of Florida College of Medicine, Gainesville, submitted a paper to the American Journal of Medical Genetics reporting studies of six patients comparing their data to those from previous reports. Severe developmental delay, puppet-like gait, craniofacial abnormalities, and frequent episodes of laughter that it became clear the syndrome was more common than previously thought. They proposed the name of this disorder be changed to Angelman syndrome.